Hey, how's it going? I'm Ezekiel back again with another video. So today I have with me the Bowers and Wilkins PX Active Noise Cancelling Wireless Headphones. Many of you on this channel have requested like that I review these. Well, so today in this video, I will be telling you all about the Bowers and Wilkins PX, uh, the good, the bad, and then my opinion. And I will also be making a comparison between these and the Bioplay H9i. So without wasting much time, let's get to it. So first of all, let's take a look at what comes in the box. So opening the box, you have the headphones seated at the top. Then underneath, you've got a carrying pouch, which contains uh, the USB Type-C cable for charging it. And you've also got a 3.5 mm cable to use it wired if you want to. Then you've also got your instruction manual and warranty information. So that's pretty much all that's in the box. You can pick it up in two color options. You can pick it up in the blue and soft gold as I have here with me, or you can pick it up in space gray. Well, to me, I feel like this is the more beautiful option. Taking a look at the headphones themselves, as you can see, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Looking at the overall design, you'll notice that these headphones are made of pure metal and the blue parts are made of like a ballistic nylon material. The headbands are also made of this ballistic nylon and polycarbonate material. And then underneath you've got real leather. Yes, the headbands are made of real leather. Even the ear cups themselves are made of real leather. And one thing to bear in mind about the ear cups is that they are detachable so easily. Check this out. You can just take them out like this, very easy. You can just snap them back in. To me, I feel like these are the easiest ear cups to take out. The Bioplay H9i, you have to like unscrew it to take off the ear cups but for these just apply a little bit of force and the ear cups easily come off it's magnetic so you don't have to worry about these just coming off you know easily on its own you'll have to definitely apply some pressure to like pull it off and then by the sides you can see the nice etched bars and wilkins logo it looks absolutely gorgeous it's only the bioplay h9i that comes close to these when it comes to design and build quality as you can see they rotate to an angle of 90 degrees and they also swivel slightly uh, you can't fold them which is a shame i wish that you could fold them up same with the bioplay h9i you can't fold them up well coming to button placements on the right ear cup you've got your volume rocker buttons then you have a multifunctional button here which serves as your play and pause button and you also use it to skip tracks and you also use that same button to receive calls and then underneath you've got your active noise cancellation button then you've got a power slider underneath beside the slider you've got an led indicator light yeah, which indicates the status of the headphones underneath you've got a 3.5 millimeter audio port for wired listening and then beside the 3.5 millimeter audio port you've got usb type c port for charging these up these use usb type c which is similar to the bioplay h9i on the left ear cup there are no controls or any buttons whatsoever the headbands adjust very smoothly as you can see very nice and smooth there are these wires that are like firmly attached inside that run through this metal they glued it kind of on the down part. Yeah, I tried to pull it out. It just won't come out. So it's firmly attached. So you don't have to worry about these, you know, pulling out. Well, opening the ear cups, you'll notice that the drivers are like kind of angled in order to give a more immersive listening experience. And you like get a better sound stage. Yeah, so which is really good. This is Bowers and Wilkins special design. I've not seen this on any other pair of headphones. So well, now it's time to talk about its features. So the PX is equipped with some smart features. First of all, the music pauses once you take off an ear cup, any of the ear cups, the music pauses automatically. It also goes on standby once you like to take off the headphones from your head and rest them on your neck or place them on a table. Once you just take the headphones and put them back on, they automatically come on again by themselves and like get paired up back to your device. Yeah, which is really good. So that would help save power. It's also equipped with adaptive active noise cancellation. So what that means is that from the app, you can adjust the amount of noise cancellation, the level of sensitivity of the noise cancellation. So in order to get the best possible sound experience. Another thing you have to bear in mind about the Bowers and Weekends PX is that it's equipped with APTX technology. So which means when you are streaming music wirelessly or watching movies, you know, through Bluetooth, there is not going to be any lag whatsoever. It's going to be very seamless. But on the Bioplay H9i, that is not present. I wish they included it for the price. Now coming to comfort, uh, it's quite interesting on these headphones. Once you initially put these on, you will notice that it has a kind of a hard clamping force. 
clamps the back of my ears kind of my neck behind my neck here that was like initially after a day or two i think it subsided a little bit the bioplay h9i are much more comfortable than these the ear cups are not thick and there's this plastic underneath which hampers kind of hampers the softness and uh, the comfort when you wear these on well our head sizes are not the same so my advice to you would be for you to try these on first of all you might find them comfortable now coming to how good the noise cancellation is on these i will say the noise cancellation is on par with uh, the bioplay h9i but it's not on par with the qc35 or sony mdr 1000x so these are quite good they cancel out noise effectively uh but they are not as strong as that on the bose or the sony but the active noise cancellation on these it doesn't affect the sound quality that much uh depending on the mood which you choose you know you can choose from office to traffic to flight mode from what i discovered is like the office mode is the best i think that retains more more of the sound quality than the two other modes coming to battery life on these you get like 22 hours with active noise cancellation turned on i was able to get like 21 almost 22 hours from my testing uh but with noise cancellation turned off i got like 28 hours there about from these which is really good so you get lots of battery life but you also have to bear in mind that might vary depending on the type of music and the volume you are listening to one thing I noticed about the play and pause feature is that sometimes without me taking off the headphones from my ears, it just pauses on its own. Yeah, but that can be fixed on the app. We can adjust the level of sensitivity of the headphones. So your music is not going to play and pause, you know, haphazardly. Each time maybe you just shake your head and all that. The buttons are so tiny. I wish they made them a little bit larger. Sometimes very difficult to control. Uh, yeah, so you have to pick and search, you know, for it. So you might find it difficult finding the right control buttons. Uh, that is what I noticed when using these. You cannot just accidentally press them or anything like that. So it also has an advantage. But all the same, it still boils down to personal preference. Some might still prefer these buttons here. Well, to me personally, I prefer the button placements on the Bioplay H9i. Now, coming to the most important part, which is sound quality. When you wear these for the first time, you will notice the broad sound stage. So you feel the music much more. It's like you are there where it's happening live because of the sound stage. And I think that is, that is due to the drivers which are angled slightly. This is where these headphones excel uh, in their mids and sound stage. The treble on these is kind of recessed slightly. You don't get this sparkling treble. It's not a bad thing per se, but definitely you may notice it. And that's also a good thing in a way. You don't get any listening fatigue whatsoever, even at max volumes. So in terms of bass, uh, these are not bass heavy headphones at all. When compared to the Sony, the Bose or the Bioplay H9i, these sound much more natural. Yes, the bass is not really boosted in any way on these, uh, but they're accurate. They are very punchy and accurate but it's not boosted on the bioplay h9i it sounds more busy they are much more busy than these overall these are great sounding headphones but if you are coming from bass heavy headphones definitely you will notice the difference here when you put these on you might not like the sound signature initially in an interview i did recently i stated why these are my best yes and it's because of that sound stage we all have our personal preferences so i will not say these are the best overall for everyone uh, my advice would be for you to try it out for yourself. You might end up liking it, you might not. So if you have any further questions concerning the Bowers & Weekends PX, just drop them down in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them all. That's pretty much it. So I hope I was able to tell you all about the Bowers & Weekends PX. Great sounding headphones, I highly recommend them. As always, I'll be throwing links down in the description section for you all to check for updated prices and purchase. And also feel free to check out other nifty gadgets on this channel. I am Izzy and I'm signing out. Adios.